In our last video, we learned how to read PDF form and import the field information like the name, uh, the name of the field, the field type, and the value of the of the form. Now we're gonna quickly uh, write another code to fill the PDF form here uh, from Excel itself, and then save the form uh, with a new name. I'm gonna close this for now. And just below this, we'll start writing a new code. So we'll use the same part again. Let's call this um, write to phone. I'll declare the app again. Let's call this. And then we'll just reuse this form. Just the form app and then the form fields. And then we'll start declaring the name of uh, the fields. Let's quickly open up the form. So we need the name, there's two last name, first name, email ID, two options button and the date. So we'll just quickly declare them. Option buttons. So this will be our two options button. So we're declaring the, the fields now. And now we can start to open up the R document. We'll open up this form, the same form, so the same one. And then we'll say and if make a show. Just correct all this. So this is our form, and then these are the fields. We don't need this field actually. Call this first name. So we have to replicate this for all the variables. First name, last name, the email ID, the date, our option button one and two. So this is where we need to put in the name of the fields. So we have that set up. We can say, uh, we can directly write to the value now. For example, this could be um, Sharon, something like that. Kimberly. And 
just filling out the dummy information. So for the forms we have option, neutral, agree, strongly agree, disagree and so on. So we can just copy and put in the neutral, agree, okay. So now we have to save the document. Um, we can say uh, we have to use this to um, we have to hook this document viewer and then the document itself. So we'll just say um, let's copy this PDF dot dot get. PD dog, I think that's yeah. Now we'll try to save this using this feature. And this is where our full part will come in. So I say PD save full. And then here we'll put a path. We can say in the same path, we want to save it with a different name. We'll just call this output 1.pdf. If it is able to save the information, we'll just print out. Save else fail to save something like that okay so now I think that's pretty close now then we can save our document say so I want to close this and then we'll also close this as well And now we can clear off um, the memory. Let's say, we'll just replace all this. Just clear off all the memory. Uh, let's exit the app as well. So do the cleaning after some time. Now we have to put in the name of the field here. Just get rid of this again just to make sure that we have the updated field names just in case I edited something. So I'm gonna run this code, read PDF form fields. Okay, so I'm gonna start filling up our field names. Just close this for a bit. The first one is our radio button. This is the email ID. This is the first name. This is for the last name, and I think we're good now. So once we execute the code, we expect that this form to be filled with the information that is here uh, in our code, down here. 
and then it will okay I think we have missed the date survey date So you can fill the date as um, like this. We'll call this 12, 12, 2019. Save the file. Now I'm gonna quickly try to run this. I'm putting a mark. So, so the file is open now in the background. I'm gonna quickly set the fill now we'll start to fill up the phone Sharon Kimberly so agree neutral twelve twelve fill out the data as well and I think we forgot to fill the email ID. Okay, let me just run through this now. And then we'll add the email ID as well. So the email ID is called to s.kim at gmail.com. Okay. Gonna run this one more time. We'll call this output two. Okay, I'm gonna go to the folder output two. You can see the form has been filled out. It seems to be very straightforward. Um, I think I don't need to walk you through all this again, but uh, the first portion is just declaring the document, the viewer declaring the fields, this part is the form, these are all the fields that we want to utilize, uh, the app and the document we're setting up um, the object, and then opening up the document, activating it, bringing it to the front, and then we're setting up, um, we're creating the objects basically here, we're saying this first name variable, uh, which is um, the form field will be a uh, PDF form and the field name is this and then we're filling up the information here we're assigning a value to the field and then we're getting um, we're hooking the, the document and the viewer and here we're saving as the, um, the new file and then uh, we're closing and cleaning out the memory